Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending May 12th, 2018. Yes, my cat has already joined me for this report. I'm going to try to keep them even shorter with the weather getting warmer. Not only two subjects, but try to keep them around three to four minutes. I've been told by other people that I'll get better viewership that way, so we will see. When you have to compete with outdoors and warm weather, you got to do what you got to do. So anyway, there's been rumors going around that Mars is uh, the Mars uh, rover that they're sending up in 2020 is going to include a helicopter and there were some tests done in the Arctic earlier I think they were about a year ago and they suggested about eleven million dollars for the mission well they actually got twenty three million dollars for the mission and the director announced yesterday the director of uh, NASA himself and we get it up here uh, NASA administrator Jim Bridenstine uh, said that we are going to actually go with the helicopter to Mars so they're running the final tests on it right now and it is a go I guess for having the little helicopter. Now this is not going to be a huge helicopter. The blades themselves are about oh, three foot seven inches long and it's only going to fly for about three minutes every day. Basically it's going to scout out for the, the, the 2020 rover so that it, uh, because the rover is so, so short it can't see over rises and it can't see over any kind of small hills. So this is going to be kind of like a scout and it's going to uh, scout out the territory and then come and land next to the rover and then uh, using radio telemetry it's going to send the information back and forth so that's going to be kind of cool too first flying craft on, and it's going to be a test bed for maybe in the future having other flying craft on Mars also the NASA administrator said that the plans are to still go back to the moon and probably the moon before Mars and he's encouraging commercial interests to get ready to deliver payloads to the moon for us so looks like we're gearing up for serious exploration I, I kind of like to see that for a change I'm going to give you the links to uh, the Expedia, the, not the Expedia, the Wikipedia article. Although they didn't update it, the Wikipedia article has not been updated yet with the fact that it's a go-ahead, but it gives you all the information on the Mars helicopter scout. And then I'm going to give you two short videos. One's about a minute and a half, the other one's about three and a half minutes with the announcement on it and a little bit more information about uh, mission, uh, further missions in the future and the missions to the moon uh, with including commercial partners. Uh, all these links, by the way, were sent to me either directly or indirectly by my friend Tom H., so thank you, Tom. And last up for this week, mineral found on lunar meteorite hints at hidden moon water. This is water actually underneath the surface, so uh, with this gearing up to wanting to have commercial missions and uh, possibly some type of settlements on the moon, at least as a, a test for Mars, finding some uh, uh, water underneath the surface of Mars is going to be a great thing. So a team of Japanese scientists led by, and I'm probably going to slaughter this, Mahish, Ma, Masahiro Kayama from the Department of Earth and Planetary Materials Science at Tokyo University, and I don't think it's Tokyo, it's Toku University, found the mineral called Moganite in, an, in a lunar meteorite discovered in the desert in northwest Africa. And I guess to be able to make this type of a, a mineral, you have to have the presence of water. So they're summarizing that from this as an example that you're going to be able to find quite a bit of water. It's going to be a significant amount. So um, so anyway, that would be a little bit help with our exploration there. So keeping it short as usual, I hope I didn't go too much past three minutes, maybe four minutes at the most. So take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.